diverge, yeah, right? You will basically get something like a singularity, right? <laughs> All right. Is it clear so far? So these are the kind of things you will be thinking when you are uh, adding this. So the final item uh, example I want to talk, talk here is it's in the blog, so you can read there for more details. I'll show you. But uh, thermal curing. So in thermal curing, uh, what you have is these two equations. Now the first one is a heat transfer equation, where you have a source curve coming from the curing process, if alpha is the curing rate. Uh, so then in the second one, you have uh, just uh, an equation for the curing rate. So uh, this is the Arrhenius equation. Um, a lot of chemical kinetics kind of problems take that form. Now, the first question is, what interfaces are we going to use to solve this? Normally, you would use the heat transfer interface for the first equation, since we have already implemented that. But assume you are going to use equation-based modeling entirely. What would you use for the first one? What interface would you use? Any of the PDE interfaces would work, right? Let's say coefficient for PDE. How about the second equation? Huh? The ODE interface, right? Because there is no special derivative there. So if you don't have special derivatives, you have to use the ODE interfaces. But we have two ODE interfaces, mm -hmm. domain ODE and global ODE. Which one should you use? Domain, global, which one? Oh. Why would you say domain ODE? Because alpha can be a function of spatial. Why can alpha be a function of space? In that equation, in the second equation, is there anything that should make alpha a function of space? Initial value. Let's say, OK, let's say that's a good way. Let's say initial values are fixed. Let's say that value A is fixed, E A is fixed. All parameters in that equation are fixed. Yeah, then that's a global. Is it still a domain or a global ODE? It's global. Are you sure? T is a function, it's coupled, right? So on its own, yes, it, would, it was almost a global ODE, if, a domain ODE if everything was constant. But we are coupling this to temperature. And the temperature is a PDE which can have different solutions. So the fact that the temperature is affecting the curing rate would necessitate we use the domain ODE feature. Is, is it clear? So if we are uh, doing that, uh, here, you can add, this will also revisit the coupling. How do you now couple? Because there is a coupling term, right? Here, in the coefficient form, we just specify in this equation, EA, these are the diffusion coefficients from the first equation, uh, no source terms originally, or we can write the source term here. There is a source term, right? That uh, There is this term. But the way to add that then is, to your heat run, to your coefficient form ODE, you can add a source term if you right-click this and say source. And that source term, you see this declaration, d alpha t, make it a function of the other variable. Now you have coupled it. And then in the second domain ODE, then this source term that you have to type, make it a function of temperature. So now you have coupled uh, both. Is it clear? Questions? So. Then uh, I will skip through this uh, verification and validation and give you the homework. Um.